This is the experiment to determine the specific heat capacity for metal. I have two metal blocks, a copper block on the left and an aluminium block on the right. They both have a mass of one kilogram. They are surrounded by lagging which insulates them from the surroundings to minimise heat loss to their surroundings. They have an immersion heater inside them connected to a power supply and there's a voltmeter across the power supply, uh, across the immersion heater and an ammeter so I can determine the voltage across and the current through the heaters. So this is for the copper block here and that's the voltmeter and the ammeter for the aluminium block. They also have a thermometer inside so that I can measure the starting temperature and the final temperature. What I will do now is record the initial temperature and then I'll turn the power supplies on and keep them on for 10 minutes. By using the voltage and the current readings I'll be able to determine the average power supply to the heaters and from that on the time I can determine the heat transferred. T to 1 is 21 degrees C. I've recorded the mass and the temperature that I'll be, uh, sorry, the time that I'll be recording for. Just so it doesn't look like 6,005, that's 600 seconds. The equation we'll be using is delta Q equals MC delta theta. We will be looking for C, so C is delta Q over M delta theta. Right, let's get these on. So, power supply is going on now, and timer starting. At the end of 10 minutes, I'll turn the power supplies off. But I'll continue monitoring the temperature because I'll be looking for the maximum temperature rise. Okay, we'll turn the power supplies off now. But we'll continue to monitor for the highest temperature rise as recorded on the thermometers. Right, the, uh, the temperatures appear to be on their way down now, so we've got the maximum temperature rise, which is for the copper, it was 29 degrees, for the aluminium, it was 25 degrees. Now we'll go to the calculations. Alright, so we've got our data now. I judge the average current, this is the data for the copper block, <coughs> Just try right now. data for the copper block, uh, the average current 
was 1.15 amps and the voltage 3.96 volts. Beta 2, 29 degrees C. For the aluminium block, I judged the average current to be 1.04 amps and the voltage to be 3.33 volts with beta 2, 25 degrees C. Right, now we can work out some data. Delta theta for the copper block, 29 minus 21, which is 8 degrees C, or which is equal to 8 degrees Kelvin. for our temperature changes. The heat supplied for the, for the copper block was the time, 600 times by 1.15 times by 3.96. That's current times time times voltage. Okay, and that comes out as 2,730 joules. The same procedure for the aluminium block for time, current, voltage, and that comes out at 2,076. data now and uh, we'll use this equation here. In this form here we're solving for the specific heat capacity. The one is the mass, mass of one kilogram, and times delta theta up here. Zero. So two thousand seven hundred thirty times by uh, divide by rather divide by eight. Three hundred forty one. Joules per kilogram Kelvin, and do that line down there. For, for the aluminium, it's 2076 divided by 1 times 4, which gives us 2076 divided by 4, 590. So we've determined the specific heat capacities for two metals there. We started with the mass, the initial temperature. We were going to use 10 minutes, which is 600 seconds. We put a heater in there, recorded the current and voltage for the heater. Left it on for 10 minutes, recorded the maximum temperature rise, because after you switch the heater off, there's still heat to be dissipated and to reach the, uh, or to travel through the block and to reach the thermometer. So we wanted to see what the maximum temperature rise was. Worked out the, the temperature difference. Worked out the heat transferred from the heater. 
then put that into the specific heat capacity equation to work out the specific heat capacities.